Uh, yesterday at 1 p.m., we received uh, uh, asylum seekers that entered into the country through the, 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 the border uh, post of Bunagana, Gatwe, and Kibusa. So by yesterday, we had received around 1,300 people who had entered into the country. But this morning, again, they, I think they kept coming in the night. And as you see what has been going on in, in the social media, even the guns, the gunshots could be heard on the other side of the DRC Congo, where the soldiers are trying to fight back uh, with the M23 rebels who attacked that part of the country. So r right now, we had an emergency meeting yesterday between the district local government of Kisoro, uh, UNHCR, WFP, and all the development partners. Uh, of course, all this is being coordinated by our ministry, Office of the Prime Minister, to ensure that all the, the SOPs are being observed in, in terms of when these people are coming. So this morning, I can report that the security screening started, and that is always the first step when these asylum seekers come into the country. So we have taken on on this, and they are being, uh, the screening is going on on security, so that we can now be able to eliminate the elements, just in case some of them came together with asylum seekers, the rebels. And then the medical team is also working one-on-one. -on -one. We had like seven, seven uh, 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 casualties yesterday among the asylums who had gunshot wounds, and we took them to Kisoro Hospital to get treatment at the, at the health centers. Uh, WFP is offering what we call a hot meal, uh, that is food is being provided to them so that they are in position to be able to have something, breakfast, lunch and supper, uh, food is being provided today uh, since they came yesterday. And then when you talk about UNHCR, the UNHCR gave us room because when they arrived we didn't have where to put them first at the but UNHCR has provided us with the rub holes, big rub holes to be able to accommodate both male and female. But there are many, there are more than that. But the buses, as we talk right now, we have uh, five buses at uh, Ibunagana in all these posts which are helping us to remove these people from the, from the, from the, po from the border post to the uh, uh, Nyakabali. That is where our transit center is. And the activity is going on. Everybody is very busy. I want to thank so much the development partners who have swung in in, in action to make sure that this, this goes uh, very well and we have these people uh, received. One challenge that I, I got to learn about this morning, we have um, asylum seekers who are not willing to go to the transit center. They are hanging around the border, expecting the situation to calm down probably by this morning. So we have very many of them also who are still there. So far from, the, from those very many, we can't tell how many there, but we know only around 1,300 are so far been taken to, to, the, um, to the transit center. So I want to ask Ugandans who, from Kisoro to make sure they don't accept these people to mix in the community because it will jeopardize uh, the security operations in, in Kisoro district. We don't know how they can be harmful to the, to the environment, to our people in, in, in Kisoro. So please make alarm, call the police so that these people can be taken back and they can be relocated to um, to the, the, the transit center to get all the services from there. Those people who are not in the transit center will not receive any, any, any services in terms of medication, in terms of food and so forth. So it's better they go to the transit center. We are ready. Everything is set at the at transit center. And even if the numbers go very high uh, beyond our capacity at the transit center, we shall be in position to carry them to another transit center where we shall take the process of registration after the security screening. And this is happening right now before we can now plan to take them to resettlement, uh, uh, resettlement uh, either in Nachivale or uh, Chaka, all those settlements that we government provided in the open door policy for the refugees. And we are not going to allow to take services to people who are hanging, who are at large in the community. They have to be in one place so that they can go through the whole process. There is no way we can also expose our staff to go and meet with people who have not been screened by security. That means we shall be putting them in danger. So I, I let the district leadership of Kisoro take action and make sure those people leave those areas. They bought the buses which have been provi provided for them to take them to, to Nyakabale, a transit center for the proper uh, refugee response plan that we have for them.